Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we look at the Custom Nukes plugin. So, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to have different kinds of explosives, not just TNT, ranging from just a small toy bomb to a proper big nuclear bomb, which is pretty powerful. So, the first one, which is the weakest one, is the toy bomb, and then the next one is just a normal bomb. Then we have a flash bomb and finally the nuclear bomb. Now you can change loads of settings and the crafting recipes in the config, which we'll look at a bit later. But if you do forward slash custom nukes and then give followed by my name and then maybe nuclear and one, that will give you one nuclear bomb if you don't want to craft it. And as you can see here, the item is actually a sponge. So instead of TNT, it is a sponge. Um, but you can obviously change that if you want to. So, the way we would craft a toy bomb is just one piece of TNT surrounded by sand and that's going to give you eight of them, another thing that you can change in the config. So let's go over here and place it down and we're going to light it on fire using flint and steel. And as you can see, this one's actually pretty pathetic, honestly. It's, uh, as the name suggests, it's a toy bomb, so it is very weak, wouldn't do much damage and has a tiny amount of explosives. The next one, which is just a normal bomb, is slightly bigger, has a little bit bigger blast radius. So if we pop this down, you can see how much bigger it is. So this one is a little bit meatier, uh, better than normal TNT in fact. And you can see it's given us um, a couple of potion effects, which is why I've got the milk just in case. So the next one we have is the flash bomb. Now this one is like a flashbang. So if you throw it, it will blind you temporarily and kind of disorientate you. So if I pop this down and light it on fire, Instead of having an explosive yield, it's going to give us blindness and nausea for about 25 seconds. So once again, the milk comes in clutch, and there we go, I am fixed. Now the one you've been waiting for, the nuclear bomb. So this one, as the name would suggest, is the mother of all bombs and is very powerful. Obviously in the config you can make it even more powerful. So if we light it on fire, there's going to be a massive explosion, we're going to get loads of uh, potion effects, wither, blindness, nausea, etc. And if I drink the milk bucket, you can see there is a pretty big explosion down below. So if you really wanted to, you could actually make this explosion far, far bigger uh, by changing some values in the config. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting loads together because as you see, if I light them, it just sends me absolutely flying. Um, and then I don't actually know where I am once I've uh, drunk the milk. So it sent me just many, many chunks away. So those are the different uh, bombs that we have by standard in this plugin. Lots of different ones. It's cool that they give you potion effects. And let's go ahead and go to the config file now and see how we can edit them and tweak different bits. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. And if we go into the config.yml, this is where we can just edit everything. Now, if we have a look here, it says the default TNT parameters is a delay of 80 ticks and then a radius of four. So bear that in mind when you're setting the values for your explosives, just don't make them too powerful or it could obviously impact your server. So service material, that is going to be sponge you saw in game, but you could change that to something else if you wanted to. Do you want permissions, yes or no? And then the enabled explosives, we've got the four here by default. Then if we scroll down even more uh, to the first section, so here is the toy bomb. So you've got the name, the description, the recipe, which you could change, the amount it gives you when you craft it and then the scenario. So it's going to be scenario one, explosion one, and then the radius is going to be one. Then we have the normal bomb, which is slightly bigger. So it has a damage radius of eight, and it gives you effect one as well, which is why I had to drink the milk. Now, as you can see, the recipe is here. You can change that if you wanted to. Scroll down, we've got the flash grenade. So this is, uh, as we saw, like a flashbang. It gives us effects one and two, and then you can see uh, the radius of 32 and then the effects is blindness for 30 seconds and effect two is confusion for 60 seconds. Finally, we've got the nuclear bomb, which has a massive damage radius, so 120. It gives us all these different effects for one minute. Now, what you can actually do is just make your own custom bomb. So I'm gonna have a quick go and make a completely new one and see what it's like. So you can see I've just created a new one called test and it has a radius of 200. So this is even bigger than the nuclear one. And then finally, before we actually go in-game, we actually need to type it in the enabled explosives area. Go ahead and save that. So if we have a look in-game, I can go ahead and give myself the test explosive that I created. And if we pop it down, light it on fire, it has lagged significantly. Uh, we've got the effects, it's done a massive blast radius, and we are feeling rather ill. 
So if you want to download the plugin, you can head over to the Spigot page. It's updated from 1.14 to 1.16. In fact, it was updated yesterday. Uh, you can see there are various different explosives. These are all obviously the default ones. Uh, these are the commands and there are permissions as well. So one last thing before we go, Server Miner is currently doing a giveaway where you can win a Razer mouse, keyboard and a server for two months. It's only got two days left, so if you're an early bird to this video, you can go ahead and enter and hopefully you win. Link in the description or go to serverminer.com forward slash giveaway. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.